All right, guys. Now we're going to dive into our next uh, thing that we need to talk about, and that is the basic nursing terms to know and concepts. So I'm going to go ahead and download this, and we're going to watch this, and I'm going to tell you basically, okay, what's the important pieces? What are the important pieces of this, right? And so I love these slides. I love this front one here. It's so fun. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so um, we're going to jump over here. And what we've got is pathophysiology. Okay, so you guys have learned about anatomy and physiology. Well, now you're going to learn about pathophysiology. Pathophysiology is a little different than physiology. Physiology was the normal processes associated with um, with life, basically. Pathophysiologic, patho, like something that's pathologic, <laughs> it insinuates that there's something wrong with it, right? So pathophysiology means physiology that has something wrong with it, right? So really pathophysiology is the disordered physiologic processes associated with disease or injury. Etiology, eti, I, I, I think of somebody who's name is Eddie is somebody who might be able to tell me the cause of everything. Okay, so etiology is this cause or set of causes or manner of causation of a disease or condition. So when we're talking about pathophysiology, we're talking about this process. Um, sometimes we, we refer to some of that process as sequela associated with disease or injury. Um, etiology um, is, what was the cause, you know? Why, why did this happen? Clinical manifestations is really an umbrella term. So clinical manifestations are, are things that we're assessing, right? So if there are clinical manifestations of a pathophysiological process, we are, can assess those manifestations. So they are signs and symptoms of a disease or condition. A sign is a clinical manifestation that can be seen or measured. It's very objective. A symptom, this is something that the patient describes to us. Um, and so it's, it's, it's subjective. Okay, subjective versus objective data. Subjective data um, is data that um, can be stated from the patient's point of view, okay? These are things we assess, right? Um, these are things that we collect um, so objective data is observable and measurable findings. 